Hello and welcome to this screencast on how you can use the Health Challenge Sheet in Google Drive. So if you know me, I love Google products because it makes it so easy to be able to work on documents in the cloud, move from computer to computer, and have the same document and ability to edit that information. Uh, there's a lot of sharing, a lot of other things that you can do with Google Docs uh, aside from this video, but I just wanted to show you specifically how to utilize the Health Challenge Sheet that you can receive via link um, when you get some information about that Health Challenge Sheet. So if you've never used Google Docs or any products, you will have to have a Google account to be able to do this. If not, you're not going to be able to use this uh, cloud functionality. Um, so it's really easy. Google accounts are free. You have a lot of different services that you can utilize in there. Uh, the basics for what Google Drive is, it's a repository where you're able to hold uh, office-like documents in the cloud. And these are Google built documents. Very handy. Uh, if you want to talk about that, come to the instructional technology, talk with uh, us, and we will show you need how to work that. But today, we're going to specifically show you how to work on the health challenge sheet. So how this is going to work is you'll probably receive an email with a link for the health challenge tracking form. So you'll go to that link, you'll just click on it, and what's going to open up is a Google Sheet. And right now it's an only a view only mode. And that's because we're just sharing the sheet. You're going to have to make a copy of it into your own individual Google Drive and then you can start using it um, to track all your progress. So how this is going to work here is once you open the sheet, you're going to notice that you have all the various points that you can earn on the side. You'll have all the days of the week that you'll be able to track those points. Up at the top, go ahead and input your weight. And then uh, at the end of the week, any pounds that you've lost. And if you haven't lost any pounds, but you've also maintained your weight, you can put a five in there. Um, if not, just leave it as a zero. But off to the, the side here, you'll see all the various points that you can earn. You'll notice there will be a few areas that are surrounded by this, uh, this border. That means that you can only do one of those within that area for that particular day. And you'll earn that amount of points. But as you go down the list at the very bottom, you'll see where all your calculations are automatically going to happen. And then there will be a week total points. Um, just to make it easier, I went ahead and made a My Totals tab as well. That's going to aggregate all of your totals throughout your week, and you can track your weight change throughout each week. Um, but let's show you how you can use that sheet, because by default, you get this link. It's view-only mode. You can't click in here, and you can't really put any of your values in there. But what you can do is you can make a copy of this and go ahead and use it at your own Google Drive. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So the first thing that you can do is go to google.com, and you'll need to sign in or sign up for an account. And I'm going to do that now. So if you're familiar with Google Drive, all you need to do is get into it. If not, and you didn't sign in directly to Google Drive, you go up to this little grid in the upper right hand corner. Once you drop down, it has all the various apps. There's a bunch more apps if you click the more, but the one we're looking for is Drive. So I'm going to jump into Drive for this account we're looking at today. Um, just a quick plug for Drive, it is a repository for all those various things. You have about 15 gigs of space that you can use uh, in this account. But what we're going to do today is we're going to go get that health challenge sheet that we just got uh, the view only access to, and we're going to make a copy and put it right into our Drive. So I'm going to go back to that sheet. I am going to refresh uh, this page so it knows that I'm logged in. You'll notice that in the upper right hand corner it should show that you're logged in once you refresh. Um, so we're still in view only mode, but this is how you make your copy. Go to file, go down to make a copy, and then it's going to ask you what do you want to name the copy. Uh, since you're putting in your own drive, you can take that copy of off if you'd like. You put your name in there. I'll go ahead and put my name, and I'll hit OK. And that is it. You've just made a copy. It's going to save in your drive. Just to show you how that works, I'm going to pop over into my drive and you'll be able to see it in that root folder here. So let's give it a refresh. And there is my challenge sheet. So if you're wanting to access it, you'll log into your Google account, you'll go to this little grid up here, and you'll make sure that you go into your Drive account to be able to access that sheet. So as you go in from day to day to enter in your values, you can just access that sheet through any browser. Um, that's a modern browser, meaning that it's updated. OK, so let's take a look at the health challenge sheet. So here we go. Um, first thing, like I said, put your weight in for the day. So I'll uh, do that. I haven't lost any pounds yet, so we'll just go ahead and uh, leave these two done until the end of the week. The other things that you need to do now is just input the points that you're earning throughout the week. That's easy as that. So let me show you how this is going to work. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down just a few here. 
So here's our uh, contact with the teammate. Did I make contact? Yes, I did. One point. Did I drink some water? I did. I'm going to just go ahead and start filling out this sheet. So unfortunately, I ate after 8 p.m. Fruit servings. I did get my fruit servings for the day. Um, I'm going to try to scroll down so I can kind of show you this as I go through. We're getting close. So five points here for its vegetable servings. Did not eat vegetables. No sweets for the day. That's good. I didn't do that. I did not keep a food journal. Uh, aerobic exercise on Monday. Did not complete any of that. You really don't have to put zeros in. I just like to put zeros in as I go down the list. I did do the first level of this challenge here. I did not exercise with a coworker. I'm just going to kind of show you how it's automatically calculating as you put your things in there. So I did do some deep breathing. I did not get seven hours of sleep. Gratitude to coworker for sure. Uh, something kind for someone. Yes, I did. I did not volunteer. Uh, reading book for pleasure. I wish I could have done that. Uh, straighten my desk. Did I do that? I did. I like to straighten my desk out. So I get one point out. And then 30 minutes quality time with a loved one. Absolutely love hanging out with my boys. Okay, so as you notice, I've just put in that column. It's automatically calculated my 22 points for Monday, and it's going to go ahead and put it in my point totals. If I go ahead and take a look at my totals, I'll jump over onto that side. There's my points thus far for week one, and there's my weight. And so as I progress through this sheet, this is going to fill out, and you're going to have all your point totals in there. Really easy way to track. Uh, once you're done with setting up your entire challenge from a week-to-week -week basis, what you can do is I put this other link in there, and you can go ahead and report what you've done for that week. So you just go ahead and put in your name in there and then uh, what week you've done these points. And you just want to put the total points. You only do this one time per week, so you can only do this eight times. But let's say I had uh, got my points. I'm just going to put my 22 in just for this demo, and you hit submit, and that is it. You submit your information for the health challenge. You have your itemized week-by-week -week totals, day-by-day uh, -day totals within this sheet, and it's all through Google Sheets. So very excellent way to be able to progress through that. Hopefully this has been an informative video. I did go about seven minutes, and I promised it was going to be short, but it was a little bit longer. Um, hopefully it's going to save you some time, though. Have a good day. Peace.